Good morning, everybody. It's December, or it's uh, January 7th. Look at this. That's all solid ice out here. This is what the roads are looking like. That's the interstate in front of you. You see all those police cars out there? They're slowing everybody down on the interstate. This is all ice. All ice. Ain't that something? They don't have salt trucks here. <clears throat> they don't normally get this kind of stuff here. You hear what I'm driving over? It's all ice. Boy, if you had some ice skates, kids would love this. That's what those police cars are doing. It's all ice. Guess where I'm at? Uh, you guys, they said they don't normally get this. I shared with several people already this morning on the way down here. Um, that angel blowing that trumpet, everybody I shared it with, they seen it clearly. And I shared that one video where you could see the orbs going through me all around the vehicle. That's where we all have angels around us. Okay, getting ready to pull us out of here. They're gonna take us out of here real quickly. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. You know those chemtrails, what they're doing and why they're doing it. Don't be deceived. These people would deceive you and take you to hell. That's their goal. They can care less about anything else. They got one goal, and that's to deceive everybody. Um, don't be deceived. We're getting ready to uh, we're getting ready to go home. Remember what Jesus said? He said, "I'm not from this world." I know you guys know that. Jesus Christ said, "I'm not from this world." He says, my kingdom's not of this world. That last place I just stopped and got gas, that lady asked me, she goes, what religion are you? I said, do you remember when Jesus said, said Jesus came here? He said, I'm not from this world. He said his kingdom wasn't of this world, and he said to follow him. Those that believe in him would have the everlasting life. He didn't say you had to label yourself with anything. But if you look at all the different religions we got in all, all the world, all these different religions, let me tell you, they all heard of Jesus. They all heard of him. And they all know he said to follow me. And uh, we also know he said the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Well, I've been very, very blessed. I've had some people help me this last year. And... Uh, um. I've had this vehicle to sleep in and get around in. You know, I'm lucky. I got it. Yeah, you know, not lucky. I'm very blessed. I don't like even using the word luck because it's another word of the devil. Luck's got nothing to do with it, man. It's all about the angels that Jesus Christ has watching us. It's about the Holy Spirit that's in us. Um, ain't nobody here right now because the ice is so bad out there. I'm amazed I even drove through it like this. It's thick. And this is ice. It's not snow. It's all ice. Remember I told you it was hail? It was, uh, well, I deleted that video. I didn't show it. But there was a lot of hail, little tiny bits of hail like. It was ice that was coming out of the sky. Well, it crushed on these roads and it melted and it turned onto ice on the streets. Um... You guys, we need to uh, need to be ready. Um, all that smoke screen, that chemtrails, I, I'm going to call it a smoke screen. Um, they've been hiding this now for quite a while. What, over a year? Something like that now? 
and now it's getting obvious you know when that sun comes out the 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 glare that we get the pinkish looking skies and all that that's from what's coming okay don't be deceived and then that sun looking super super bright like that but it's bright white and it looks bigger than i've ever seen you know, it ain't like the sun used to be. You used to be able to see the sun way out. Remember what it said? It said he's going to roll back the skies, the heavens, and like a scroll. Men's hearts will be failing them for the things they're going to be seeing. This is about to be revealed. And they would have you to be ignorant. They would have you to be unaware. And what does it say in the word of God? Jesus, what does he say? Do not let these times come upon you unaware. Do not. Do not let these times come upon you unaware. And that's exactly what's happening. St. Luke chapter 21, verse 34 through 36. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unaware. Listen, I was listening to the Christian radio station, and they were all, well, today's another blessed day, you know, to the whole life we've got in front of us. Now, I mean, these words about, so at that day, not, or it says, the cares of this life. But I listen to these Christian radio stations, man. Oh, it's all about cares of this life. It's all about it. And you know what? I tried contacting a uh, Christian radio station in Florida when I first discovered this. I sent them a photo of it, everything, man. They didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to say nothing about it. Nothing. You tell me they're not controlling the airways. They're not controlling the tele-vision, tele-lie. Tele-vision, tele-vision. They're controlling everything here, everything, all these big stores, these big everything, man. They've been controlling it from the beginning. We've been sheep being herded for the slaughter, okay? This is the truth. Jesus said, take care of my sheep, okay? Who were his disciples? Those are people he caught, fishermen, people that were, you know, they weren't saints. They weren't the uh, Pharisees, were they? He didn't get the Pharisees. Okay? And cares of this life so that this day come upon you unaware. How many people do you think are going to come upon them unaware? Including the churches. Okay? And that lady asked me, what, what religion are you? I said, I follow Jesus Christ. I said, it's by what he did on the cross. By his blood, we're redeemed back to God the Father. You know? It's by that. You know? The church that you attend here... I said, they're all about prosperity and money. She goes, yeah, that's true. She knew it. And the Bible even says in the end days, people will be seeking teachers with, you know, itchy ears. And I've even had people say, what's your favorite passage? For as a snare shall it come upon all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. And in that day and time he was teaching in the temple and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. Remember, Jesus didn't have a place to lay his head, did he? He said, the Son of Man's got no place to lay his head. Birds have nests, foxes have holes. But the Son of Man has no place. These are the times. And the Word of God clearly says, I don't know if they're open, man. These people walked in there like they were going to go in and eat, but like they may not be open yet. Um, the Word of God clearly says that uh, love not this world, First John. Love not this world. And you guys hear how they're all about prosperity. Neither the things that are in this world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. These planets that are coming, that are coming towards us right now, 
that's why things are happening to the earth. You know, when you move something huge to it, it's going to start rocking, reeling, and shaking. And, and look at the timing of this. On the 15th or something, they're making the fate of what they're going to do to Israel. And if you don't think God doesn't know everything from the beginning to the end, and that's why these things are moving up on us right now. Because he knows the exact time. Okay? And you got these people, these churches saying, oh, today's the first day of the rest of our life. Yeah, we got our whole life ahead of us, you know? Let's love it. And then here you read this. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in this world. And if any man loves this world, the love of the Father isn't in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. You won't hear that in the churches. You won't hear it. This is the time, you guys. We need to be drawn real close to the Lord. I mean, real close. Here uh, on Second Peter 1444, that's my page number, 1444. Chapter 3, Second Peter, Christ's coming. Verse 3, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. You know, you guys, remember I told you I kept having those dreams where uh, it was showing me where I used to smoke cigarettes, I smoked pot, um, I was drinking, I, I snorted cocaine. This is when I was younger. I... I I quit smoking uh, cigarettes probably eight years ago, something like that. Um, pot, I smoked pot and everything. I kept having those dreams, and I wasn't sharing that. I was thinking, oh, that's probably the devil trying to give me a guilty conscience. Well, I think that was the Lord, because a lot of these scoffers and mockers were coming against me trying to show where I was smoking pot, drinking, and whatever. But uh, the Lord wanted me to share my testament and say, Yes, I did do these things. And we have. The Bible, you've heard me read the Word of God said we all have fallen short. And therefore, we, we should follow Christ, not the world. And a lot of people are heading in the same direction. Like people ask me, what religion are you? You know, I'm not going on that bo boat. I'm not. I'm not following any nothing in this world, man. I'm following Jesus Christ. Follow him. I'm looking for his coming. And I'm trying to warn churches. It's all about what he did on the cross. It's not about what church you are or what denomination you are. It's about what Jesus Christ did on the cross. It's about the blood of Jesus Christ that redeems us back to the Father. I've shared in there also where he kissed me on my forehead and I seen blood on his lips. That was the blood of Christ. That was the blood of Jesus Christ. I don't know if this place is going to be open or not. Those other people that pulled up here left. I'm going to have to ask them. That was the blood of Jesus Christ. You know these scoffers and mockers, see that bathtub right there? That represents we have to wash ourselves, make ourselves ready. I'm going to tell you something. The white horse, I showed that to a rabbi. And about the blood, the bathtub with the blood of Jesus. Boy, as soon as I, he, he seen this, he was all right with that. The angel blowing the trumpet. And I told him I took it in 77 when I was 17. He was all right with that too. He knows God uses sevens. But the moment I told him about the white horse and the bathtub being washed by the blood of Christ, he goes, I'm busy. I got to go. He didn't want to talk no more about it. And actually he looked like he was a little offended. And he was a rabbi. He was happy-go-lucky until I told him that. But let me tell you, there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of different religions, man. They're in for a rude awakening. The 144,000, they've been sealed. They've been sealed. Well, listen, you guys, I'm going to get this off, get off the air here, okay? I think I'm running out of data. This thing is very slow loading. I don't know why. But uh, God bless you guys. Remember, it's all about what Jesus Christ did on the cross, okay? It's not about a flat earth. It's not about uh, 
um, the book of Enoch and all that, people are saying, oh, no, we got to read all that. No, because it's got nothing to do with Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross. It's what he did on the cross that redeemed us back to the Father. That's the most important message. This picture says it all right there. The white horse and a bathtub. That's what it's, it's telling us. Clearly, it's telling us that. You need to believe in this, in him, in Jesus Christ. You need to believe in this because the time's running out. Time's running out. It's not about believing in a flat earth. It's not about believing that Eve had sex with uh, the devil, you know, in the book of Enoch. It's not about knowing the names of the fallen angels. It's not, it's, it's about this right here. I guarantee you Jesus Christ would have had the whole word of God would have been right here. He said the old, he didn't come here to destroy the Old Testament. The Old Testament's in here. People saying, oh, but they took it out, man. No, they didn't. Everything's right where it's supposed to be. God's not that weak. Jesus Christ ain't that weak, man. If it was meant to be there, it would be there. Don't let people deceive you, man. Don't let them. Remember, he said there's many people will be deceived. Then, you know, here I am. I'm thinking, wow, you know. I had my eyes opened like a few years ago, several years ago. And, uh, man, when they were opened, they were opened. And I have a passion for this that I can't stop. Just like that one reading in there, it says... I won't be slowed down. I won't I won't stop. They can come against me. That's why I think I had that those dreams where it showed me smoking pot and all that all the time. To tell I had to confess all this stuff to all you guys. I had to let you guys know. So that way when they come up against me, what are they gonna say? That I haven't already said. I've got no secrets. There's that guy that's got a video about me. They got some real dark looking sunglasses on me. Those ain't, I never wore dark glasses like that. I had Ray-Bans before and I had Maui Gems. They were never dark glasses like that. You could actually see my eyes through them. All right. I don't even wear glasses anymore. My sunglasses, I quit wearing them uh, a few years ago. I quit wearing them. I don't even have any anymore. Um, I don't wear them. I show my eyes all the time. Um, this is it, you guys. We're getting ready to go home, man. We need to be sharp. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Remember this. It's what he did on the cross. It's about the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? Believe it in what he did. Okay? That's what's going to redeem us back to the Father. And uh, don't let people lead you here and lead you there and all these myths and what ifs, could have, should have, and did this and did that. And it's got nothing to do with what Jesus Christ did at that cross. Because that's the only thing that's going to get us out of here. And you can be sure all those smoke screens they've been spraying up there, chemtrails, I call them smoke screens. Okay? All those smoke screens, they're not going to be able to hide it very much longer. It's at the point now where we're going to start seeing it. And I've seen a huge planet. Let me tell you something. It wasn't the sun. It wasn't the sun. They're hiding. And this is about to be revealed now. You guys get ready be focused on Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross, and know that he did it because he loves us. Um, these churches, man, they're all lukewarm, man. They're living in prosperity, and they're going to be left behind. They're going to be left behind because, they're number one, they're not even looking for Christ's coming. They're not. They're feeling that they're blessed and everything. That's good enough. They're going. You know. The, and what do you say? Don't let these times come upon you unaware. That's lukewarm. If they would be more out there, look, at I left everything, man. I've been sleeping in my truck, sleeping in my truck. Been like 15 months now out here, and it's not comfortable. But I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop for nothing, man. Holy Spirit's been working out, working through some of y'all, helping me to keep doing what I've been doing. And I'm not going to stop until he comes. That's how much I know where we're at. And we're at the end right now. You can hear that ice. Those people driving over that ice. Guy parked right next to me. He's going to walk in, see what happens with him. And then, uh, who knows? Maybe they'll open up in a little while. I ain't in no hurry. You know? Maybe I can keep sharing with some people here. Let them know what's going on. I'd be outside right now if it wasn't so cold. Probably like 17 degrees or something. They don't have salt trucks here. 
All right, you guys, let me let you go because I got to load this up and this thing's uh, going to take it a little while. God bless you guys. Remember, it's all about what Jesus Christ did at the cross, okay? Remember that. This is coming to an end now, okay? Are they not opening? Are you guys going to open? They're waiting on their cooks. The cooks didn't show up. All right, God bless you guys, man. I love each and every one of you, man. Be prepared, okay?